Aloha guys, you're dealing with GRTV. This is a special top 10 breakdown. The reasons why it's really worse to be with a non-dreamate than than any than being alone. It's better to be alone. And I'll tell you why we're not alone, then I'll rap for you, humiliate. We're gonna do self-angradizing lifestyle, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna break down top 10. So number one, the reason why you're never alone is because you are all that is. You are the universal consciousness. If you don't believe it, you can repeat it in front of the mirror to yourself. You can say that, you can say, I am God, I am all that is. I'm the unified field of light, I am pure consciousness. There's nothing beyond me. I am the, the life force that generates the atomic structures for everything in the universe, the atoms, the everything. So that's me, right? And then you say that to yourself, you say, I'm not alone. I just happen to be in this realm and I am with myself. There's no, there's no one but beyond me. And if I feel alone, that's only because I'm not taking time for myself or actually thinking that, you know, I can play any role I need to. I can talk to myself, I can encourage myself. So you are all that is, you know, think about it. If, if you are everything, then you, you, you can't be alone. You, know, you can only pretend to be alone, but in order to maybe make other people feel badly for you to get attention, but go beyond that program too, all right? Because we out here on some ocean front shit, no trash passion, but I'm jumping fences in this bitch. Yeah, we flexing this shit. Yeah, I'm buying lots about the construction shit. Mother fucker, get the rock out. Yeah, that's right, we going down. Yeah, that's right, it's right now. Bottle popping in this bitch. You could call it shower town. You can call me one, man, because I hit the strip club and go dumb, man. Want to see that ass so I can see that pussy pun, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we out here in this super-sized lifestyle zip code. Bitch, we in the stars, but I ain't as gay as C-3PO. You could call me a freak show that... You could call me the Emerald of Kahala. Bitch, I'm in this bitch looking to make a fucking mama. Living lifestyles like Barack or fucking Obama. Yeah, bitch, my life is life size and yours just a panorama. In a picture, but mine is 3D. Yours is 2, 3... 2D, you can't sleep in the penthouse, you see. Better transcend this physical tragedy and realize you are that is. Now that's real philosophy. Alright, so more richer than any lifestyle. And by the way, this is even though this may look nice, this is more only more so just a good party house. Because, you know, real richness, I can't, I'm telling you, is having privacy. Is having to have no one around. You can play your music as loud as you want. You can, you know, you, you, um, also not having to worry about being, having to afford the property tax or maintenance. You know, this stuff, this stuff can get costly, right? But getting into it, 10 points, right? So, point number one. It's horrible to be with anyone except for your dream mate because it actually interferes with your dreams and consequently the process of being ready, preparing for your dream mate. By the way, if you look closely, you'll see the, uh, the Greek uh, statues and stuff. Very, very nice touch. So, yeah, be, being... Like I was saying, there's no such thing as alone. Right? There's only feeling alone because you're not listening to yourself, you're not masturbating yourself, you're not taking care of your basic needs, you know? If you, if you hope other people will do that, you might think, oh, it's now you're, you know, now you got something. But no, you can't, there is no getting anything. You, you can't even get your dream mate. You know, you this whole, whole idea of, oh, you want to flirt, seduction, it's, 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 you know, you, that's not authentic, that's a contrived situation, you 
know, you, that's, you know, if you don't want things to be forced, if you want somebody to really love you, the marriage vows are what? This is point number two. The marriage vows are through the ups and downs of health. So if you can't, if you can't guarantee and assured, assured to yourself that this person, you know, you'd want to push them around in a wheelchair, you just don't want anything else. Um, a lot of times people base, and this may be useful, like if two people have apparent mental or physical health problems and they really aren't even capable of experiencing marriage or the dream mate experience, you know, you have to be of sound body and mind to, to have the true dream mate experience of, of that passionate connectedness. But maybe you're not there, maybe you're two people in a wheelchair, then fine. You can, you can still, you know, be with each other, be each other's friends, but it's hard to give each other your soul because you, you know, you essentially, your sexual activity is limited, you know, and, and this is not, people shouldn't feel like, oh, I wish, I wish, or I, there is no wishing, wanting any of that in, 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 in the realm that I exist in. The realm that I exist in is, I am all that is, I just want to improve the human bodies, quote unquote, biologically speaking, and improve the environment such that I am able to incarnate into these various beings as all consciousness. I am, I am pure consciousness. So I want to, I want to incarnate into these beings such that I am able to uh, experience this, that this is who I am. I can be, I can be that. Okay. So point two is, you know, it's, 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 well, let's go into point three. Point three is, you know, you, it's, you don't want to tease yourself. Okay, people see, the mistake people make is they see it as being something to do with sexual activity exchanges. But what it is, is it's not that. It's actually an energy, time, and passion exchange. So this is not something that you want to give to a random person. In fact, if you do, like I was saying in point one, you no longer have any energy for yourself. Nothing left, right? Um... By the way, if you, if you don't have dreams or goals or values, you really do. You just haven't taken even a day, perhaps, to, to discover and understand them, write them down. That's the science, right? You want to you, you you use the scientific method. All right, that's point four. Uh, if you're not using science, if you're just basing it off of emotion, then it, uh, it cannot be true love. True love is a is not easy to do. Like I said, maybe because people don't have the health or mental health to do something. But true love, true love is not something that can that is convenient to do. Okay, you you have to work at it. You have to know it. Just like just like being a professional at something, it's it's a skill you have to study. And uh, people say, oh, you have to have experience. No, you just have to learn from other people's mistakes and experiences. And so you don't make that mistake. They're thinking things like, oh, it's, you need experience. No, it's actually much more appealing to, uh, to be a virgin, both of, both of body and mind. And, okay, what's point five going to be? Let's see here. Uh, like I was uh, the idea of the idea of seduction. Okay, I was explaining that like it's about your passion you give to people, but really what, it, what it, really what it is is uh, so it's it, seduction is something that's supposed to occur after you commit to one another. You realize that oh you you look good on paper, matching on paper, just like the Netflix series Love Is Blind. Like you kind of look. See, before you dis are distracted by the biology, you know, you, 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 people, the, the, the ego and sex drive are very powerful, and they might, what they might do is they might try to, uh, seduce the other person. Seduction, verbal and physical intimacy is only supposed to occur after marriage. After you realize, oh, you know, you, you guys love each other's dreams. And by the way, remember, you, can never, you can't love another person. You can only love their values and dreams. And then you can, you can say that you love them. 
you, you want to be with them. Also, points, point five, all these vague terms like I want to be with, I, I like them. You know, there's no wishing or wanting in, in the realm that I exist. There is only knowing, knowing what you're, who you are, knowing what your profile, your, you know, who you are, your, your dating profile. What does it look like? And not like I, well, I want or I wish this person would be a little different. It's like, this is who my, this is who my dream mate is. You know, and so, yeah, it, ju it just seems like many people are attracted to many. And there are so many features, but, you know, I'm telling you, it's better to be, the point is, is it's, is people you're not, if they're, you're not dreaming, this is point six. It'll, it'll look like you don't know what you're doing if you, if you pursue somebody who is your, uh, your non-dream mate. So, that's another thing, just the effect of it. It's like, you, you don't want to embarrass yourself and think that you're, uh, you know, not somebody else. You know, that you are somebody else, because you're not, you're, you don't, don't pretend to not be you. You know, think about it. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to do that. Like, people think that, oh, you have to make sacrifice for true love. No, you have to make sacrifices in order to have children. That's, that's, that's costly. Sometimes people who don't love each other are, you know, they have to, more, they're morally obligated to stay with one another because they, uh, they need to raise the children. They've, they've taken on a, a work that requires them both, uh, and that's a, that's another uh, discussion, but you get the idea. And then another thing is why reasons why to wait for marriage, basically to to not want to be with your non dream mate. To, why it's way worse to 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 be with anyone besides your non dream mate is because of memory. Life is about memory and reviewing memories, either of the day or of life in order to perpetuate life, in order to, you can either share it, talk about it, or you can, wow, look how nice, look at this, this is nice, eh? You know, share it, perpetuate it, in order to, to feel better. Yeah. And, and so people, Historically, they've had they've they've been married and uh, you know mother father, so they kind of perpetuate that without even talking about it. It's just like natural, like this is like this is a normal lifestyle, and so it's easy to kind of uh, replicate it. The children they just you know blindly go after, and you know that's the benefit of pro mental programming. Sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's not good. All right, so the. The goal is is to realize that you know you might think that oh pe the people that you either associate with or whatnot you might think that oh if they don't talk about marriage or prioritize marriage no big deal because you can still know yourself and control yourself but it's not about what you want it's about what you believe and what you believe is a consequence of what's in your me your mind your mental programming so you your your you you will operate based off your mental programming so for example what it might be useful to do is just repeat to yourself many times i'm only for my dream mate only for my dream mate you might think all oh, the people around you they say oh you should get a girlfriend or whatever by the way who would want a boy or a girl friend that's not your dream mate you know all these terms spouse partner significant other it's not dream mate. Power of language, precision of language. Would you label your boyfriend or girlfriend your dream mate? Maybe not. Right? So, what do we do? Well, I think I've, I've gotten about six or seven points here. Good. I think I've, I think I've done well. I'll try to add, add a last kind of bonus. So, well, that's a nice rover, by the way. Check out, check out those rims on that. It's 
nice, yeah. But at the same time, what what's petrochemical, right? Uh, is it good for the earth? So all all things to there's always a light and dark side to things. Like for example, I I've seen people who are supportive of charities and whatnot, and yet they still want to marry, you know, a woman half their age under the auspice of love when it's really servitude and it's really due to due to it's like a, it's like a business. It's not love, but but regardless, people, you know, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. We need to identify that. But don't, this is the, like the realm of dream mate. All right, this is, this is the fucking realm to, this is the fucking realm to not, not have any, like, oh yeah, maybe we'll try it, out, blah, blah, blah. This is not the realm to experiment or, or hope for or wish for or have maybes. You know, in life, there's maybes, like, maybe I'll do this job, maybe... This is not the... This is the realm where you truly have a choice as to who you are going to commit to for the rest of your life. And... It has to be scientific. It has to be, like, comparison, like... All right, well, and, and the biggest mistake... I'll conclude with this. The biggest mistake is people thinking that, oh, because someone makes you comfortable or you feel good around them. That's not a, that's not a sufficient indicator. You, it has to be science. It, it can't be based upon emotions because emotions vary. And then what happens when you're when you're more comfortable? Guess what happens? Then you you might not want that person as much anymore. And and what happens if you know you're having a hard day and 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 like will you what what happens if you're having a hard day? Well, you know. You guys are arguing, well, you, the whole point of true love is that you, after, if there's all kinds of conflicts, the basis of your relationship is still common values, interests, and life goals, and, and also activities. Remember, activities are what generate love. So you can't even generate love with your non-dream mate. You can only satisfy the lower chakras. What happens after you orgasm? Then what? And by the way, people don't need sex. They need to have orgasms. They don't need sex, they need to have orgasms. Okay? So, yeah. You might think, oh, no big deal. I'll just... Maybe one night I'll satisfy myself. That one night takes a lot of time to prepare you. It takes a week worth of work. Maybe you spend money in order to be with that person. You know, whether it's a date or prostitution. And money, and then it's so so. It's really a whole week worth of work, and then waiting for your free time of one day. And then you're giving it to somebody who you don't even care about, and that's the ultimate reality. Is that that's what people do? They they they, they give they give. You know, your body is more valuable than all these like fancy houses I've been showing you. Okay, body is more valuable. I can prove that you, you wouldn't pay a billion dollars to have your arm removed, right? Maybe you would. But body's valuable. So who are you, who are you going to give it to? Right? You gonna, you, do you want to give it to somebody who you would be willing to give everything away to? Give them complete control over you? Don't only do it with your soulmate, right? So anything less is half-hearted. Just some kissing and some... Just some kissing and some, uh, you know, sexual activity, half-hearted. What if you a person, look at them right in their eyes, give them your soul, that's real. And then all the sexual stuff is extra. Even if the sex organs don't work, then you still have true love. Alright? So, yeah, you might say, oh, well, no big deal. Well, then what is a big deal? Because if you don't choose true love, then you're choosing lust. You're choosing half-heartedness. You're choosing inauthenticity. You're choosing to neglect your dreams. So I want to say aloha to you guys. This is a nice positive energy here concerning COVID. During COVID, during this time where we have inter time for introspection, uh, we can truly uh, make choices to uh, put ourselves first in our dreams and dream it.